All right, this one's going to be on uh, this command line program called TS. It stands for Task Boiler. And uh, what is it? Here, let me give you um, a short description they give us. So TS, Task Boiler, is a simple Unix batch system. What the fuck does that mean, right? Basically, it's a command line program to queue up um, other commands, right? So let's say you have a list of commands that you want to do for the day or the hour or whatever it is. And you don't want to waste time waiting for one to finish uh, and then run the next one yourself. Um, that's just a waste of time. You just want to queue it all up at one time and uh, do whatever you need to do, right? So that's what the, this program is. It just queues it up. What I usually use this for is either conversions or downloading something with wget. So if I'm converting some videos and my videos are like, you know, in different places, like uh, oh, in this folder, in that folder, whatever it is. Uh, so I just queue it up, you know. And same thing for downloads, I just queue it up, and once one is done, it goes on to the next one. And I don't have to think about it, because in the past, I was like, uh, I waited for one to finish, and then I, you know, do the next one, which was uh, stupid and a waste of time. Anyways, this is the program that queues it, so how will you use this? So, if you install the program, you just run TS, and this will list out the jobs. Right now, we have nothing, but let's say, for example, we do TS, and we do a basic command like echo, hello, or something like that. Right, and it gives us an ID of 34. So we'll list it out again, and that job is finished because that command is very short, you know, it just echoes out hello. But if we do some uh, a longer com command or something like that, um, it's gonna wait for that to finish, and now I'll show you in a minute right here. So we we'll say ts wget, uh, we're gonna download a mp3 file, right? So this one should take us uh, maybe a couple of minutes or something like that. So run that and it, it sends it to a TS job, lists out the jobs again. Now you can see that that one's running right now because it's, it's downloading something. Uh, if you want to look at it at the same time, like um, at the moment, how, how much is downloading right now? We don't know. So we go TS uh, to list out the, the jobs here. And we want to look at number 20, uh, was it 35 I mean. So TS dash C for cat. So we're going to cat out like what the, you know, what is it saying in there? So 35, and you see right now it says, oh, we're downloading at 28%. Uh, you can actually still cancel all of it, so control C. Now this doesn't cancel the job, it just cancels uh, our screen that we want to look at, all right? So it doesn't cancel the job. You, you can actually go back in there and look at it again. You can see that now it's going, uh, you know, 40%. So even if you do control C, that doesn't cancel the job, just uh, cancel the display, all right? Uh, so you can see that it's still running right here. And right now, we can just queue up some other jobs that we want. So TS, we'll do like echo, um, I don't know, world, TS, echo, today, right? And we list it out again. You see that these ones are queued it up. So it has to wait for uh, number 35 here to finish to go, you know, 36 and 37. If you want to um, remove something, or not remove, let's say we, uh, we want to clear the finished jobs, you do dash capital C. And it's going to clear out this uh, 34 here because that one's already finished. All right? But you see that 34 is gone. If you want to remove the last one, uh, 37 or something like that, TS R, this by default will remove the last one you entered in. Or if you can go by ID if you want, uh, like 37. All right? And that will remove the last one that we add in. All right? But yeah, it's going to wait for this one to finish and it goes on to the next one. So that's the, the program in a nutshell. Uh, there is some other options you can do if you want to do like maybe two jobs at the same time If you have like a, a, a faster computer or a faster CPU or whatever it is then you can do that um, But let's see uh, where we're at right now. Oh, that thing is finished. You see that one that one's finished it ran the other command here and Now the whole process is uh, is done unless you want to queue up some other ones. All right. Well, yeah, that's it for the, the program uh, really convenient. I actually would uh, recommend people to use it if you're, you know, you're one of those person that's too lazy to to wait for one command to finish or whatever it is. Um, so um, I don't think it's in your repositories because I I try to look at some other uh, was that the distributions. They actually don't have this in their uh, repositories or that I know of. But if you're looking for it online, uh, some of the names it comes with is uh, either TS. Or sometimes it's called what is that TS spooler, or sometimes it's called task spooler uh, in the package. So just look for that online if it's not in your repositories. 
anyways, that's it for the program. Uh, pretty cool, right? 